The yeas are 50, the nays are 50. The Senate being equally divided, the Vice President votes in the affirmative, and the bill, as amended, is passed. <laughs> not one Republican senator voted for the so-called Inflation Reduction Act, and not only because of its misleading title. According to the CBO and other economic organizations who have studied this bill, it will, in fact, have a minimal impact on inflation. Instead, the $740 billion tax and spending package throws some $400 billion at clean energy handouts while also imposing new Medicare drug price controls. Our bill reduces inflation, lowers costs, creates millions of good paying jobs, and is the boldest climate package in U.S. history. Economists dispute Democratic Party claims, and some suggest that far from creating jobs, it will have the opposite effect. That will reduce employment in the country by about 900,000 people. That's according to Casey Mulligan, one of the top labor economists, because the increase in the health benefits is no longer tied to work. And so you're going to have more disincentives for people to work. That's a terrible, terrible bill. Democrats claim their slimmed-down version of what was called Build Back Better will be paid for with tax hikes on, quote, big corporations, end quote. They also claim it will reduce the deficit. Do not assume that raising taxes reduces deficit. All it does is crush economic activity. And look, whether you're a billion-dollar income business or you're not, the more you tax, the more you suck out of the system, the less jobs are created, the less competitive you are. This is a very bad policy. Democrats also plan to supersize the IRS with 87,000 new tax auditors. They're not being created to audit billionaires or giant corporations. They're being created to audit you. Ahead of last year's near $2 trillion spending spree, dubbed the American Rescue Plan. Can't do too much here. We can do too little. Joe Manchin was warned of the possible economic repercussions. You may end up overheating the economy and causing inflation, sir. Well, I hope we don't. I don't think we will. Last weekend, Mr. Manchin was given a reminder. Why should Americans believe you now when you said that this new bill will not exacerbate inflation? I made sure I don't make that mistake again. That's the bottom line. I make sure I didn't make that mistake again. The Senate bill won't reduce inflation, though it is likely to further harm an economy that is pummeling Americans with higher prices. Democrats remain more focused on delivering President Joe Biden a legislative win than they do the household pain on the ground. We've changed the world. Today, as the country wanders in recession territory, this GOP surfaced clip of Barack Obama during the last major downturn in 2009 shows how far his party has shifted. Normally you don't raise taxes in the recession. You don't raise taxes in a recession. The last thing you want to do is to raise taxes in the middle of uh, a recession.